What's up? What's up? What's up? Hi, y'all. It's your girl here, Miss Hawaii. We are doing your collective reading for October 1st. We made it to October 2024. My favorite month, not just because it's my birthday, because I know some of y'all saying that. No, it's because it's October. It's the fall. It's Halloween. It's close to Thanksgiving, close to Christmas, all the cool holidays, my favorite holidays. New Year's, you know what I'm saying? And I love the fall time because I love fall fashion. I love boots. I love coats and hats and scarves and gloves. Well, I'm not really a big glove person, but every now and again, I'll see some. I like chic gloves, so I like like fancy gloves, you know what I mean? But I'm a big boots person. I love boots. I love thigh high boots. So, what's going on with the collective? It's good to see all of you. As you can see, <coughs> excuse me, I've been taking down some things because it's about time to say goodbye to this place, you guys. I know you guys are going to miss it. A lot of you were saying that in the comments, but it's time to move on, right? <laughs> I'll miss certain things about it, but I'm happy to be gone, you know? So chasing tried to pop out. Pursuit, toxicity, resilience. Mm. So let's see, what's going on with the collective? Ooh. Time tried to come out, waiting time, cycles, moments. Thank you, angels. Thank you, spirit guides. Thank you, ancestors. I hope all is well with you, your loved ones and your pets. I always have to say that. And welcome to Miss Hawaii Tarot. Let me see. One day, someday, somewhere, another time. Return. Oh my God. This card kept coming out in the live last night. Do you guys remember? Oh my God. It came out maybe like six of the sign readings. The second chance, opportunity, making amends. Oh, God. Confusion. Uncertain, unclear, unsure. Chasing is back. Angels are like, I want that card. Pursuit, toxicity, resilience. So there's somebody who's going to be chasing after you or is chasing after you. It could be somebody trying to return in your life, return to your life, wanting a second chance with you. They're very confused about you and them. They feel like one day you guys will be together. I feel like you guys had a similar reading to this recently. So it's going to be one of those readings, y'all. So if you don't want to hear about anybody returning, you can click off. I'm sorry. <laughs> but that's what's here. Somebody is going to be chasing after you. Somebody's returning and they're going to be chasing after you. And they're very confused as to... I guess where you guys stand right now. Maybe they want to return, but they're they're unsure. They're uncertain if you would accept them, if you would even take them back, if they even have a window to return. But it does say toxicity on this card. Pursuit, toxicity, resilience. So let's dig deeper. Tell me more, please, about this situation. Thank you, angels. Thank you, spirit guides. Thank you, ancestors. Somebody's name is Cliff, Clifton, Cliff. Your name could even be Chase. Five of Pentacles. <laughs> So this person feels like you guys are not in a good place right now. The hangman in reverse, Pisces energy. The three of cups in reverse. Hmm. The chariot in reverse, cancer energy. The six of wands in reverse. Why everything reverse? The empress in reverse. Okay, uh, doo, doo, doo. 
Let's see. I like this song. Lenny Kravitz. Lenny Kravitz be making some good music. The star upright could be an Aquarius, Taurus, Libra, Pisces, and Cancer is here. The Knight of Wands. Bottom of the deck is the Page of Cups in reverse. Okay. It's kind of all over the place. Um, doo -doo -doo. This person, they're unsure if you are dealing with somebody else. That could be why they got the confusion card. Maybe they think you could be involved with someone. They're very passionate about you. This person could be an Aries, Leo, Sag. It's a lot of signs here, though. Um, let's get more info here. Shout out to whoever bought me this deck off Amazon. You didn't put your name, the Mystic Dreamer Tarot. Thank you. I appreciate your love. I mean, I know some people want to be anonymous, but I like to thank you personally. So I appreciate it when you put your name, but I get it. Maybe you just want to, you know, keep it a buck. Keep it quiet. Okay, this is a very emotionally immature person. They feel like you're not giving them no attention. But with the star here, a part of them still believes that you and them, that's why they got the one day card. Because it's like they still have hope in this connection. You know what I'm saying? What's the five of pentacles? Somebody's name is Errol. The Eight of Wands. See, they've been wanting to reach out. Some of you, they've been... Knight of Wands again. Hangman again. They've been wanting to reach out. They're very, very, very passionate about you. But some of you, they haven't reached out because they feel like you won't respond. You might leave them on red. You might block them if you don't have them blocked already. Yeah, see the two of pentacles? It's like they're like, they're up in their head about this. They're confused. Six of cups in reverse. But one thing they're not confused about is that they keep thinking about you reminiscent and they can't let you go. So they definitely made their mind up that they want to return. They think you're dealing with somebody else. I mean, some of you are. My name is Anthony, the two of swords. See, this person is so like two of swords, two of pentacles. No wonder they got the confusion card, the emperor in reverse. Aries energy. They, they think you got to, they think you have somebody else you're dealing with. What's the chariot in reverse? Maybe some of you, you posted things online, but maybe you're very private. Like even if you are dealing with somebody, Yeah, the seven of cups in reverse, the tower. So something big happened between the two of you. That's scorpion energy. You two, there was some, something big that broke you up or separated you. But it's like they never, even though they haven't come forward, it's like they never took their eyes off of you and off of the situation. They do feel like it's unfortunate that they did put time into you an effort into you and y'all ended up separated. What's the six of wands in reverse? They feel like you don't show them any type of attention. Like maybe they've been checking their social media to see like, have has so-and-so watched my story? Like, have they liked anything? They could be like checking to see if you even message them. Like just seeing if you, if you keeping tabs on them and they, they haven't got anything. Some of you, this person with the King of Pentacles, they could be like posting stuff like about their finances to hope to hope that maybe that will get your attention. What's the Empress in reverse? Like maybe traveling, the Two of Cups. 
the connection they feel with you is very strong. The page of cups, the hierophant in reverse. Some of y'all, somebody's mother came between y'all. That's not for all of you. I just heard Andrea, Andre. Some of y'all, somebody's mother came between y'all or something like that. Page of Cups, the Two of Cups. It's like a, it's like a childlike love they have for you. Like maybe some of you, this was a childhood love with the Page of Cups. Maybe, you know, maybe this person was a teenager or young, something like that when y'all met. I don't know. Um, what's the star? Because it's like they still have a hope. They still believe. I just heard Britney Spears. I must confess, I still believe. <laughs> the strength, the six of pentacles in reverse. Even though you haven't been like giving this person like any type of confirmation that there's a chance for you to, they still, with the strength card, could be a Leo. Something in them still like believes, but they got the six of pentacles in reverse, which is like, even if they might feel like it's one-sided, they still believe. High priestess, they feel very spiritually connected to you. They might have even like got readings on you. What's the Knight of Wands? Page of Wands. They're going to reach out, okay? The Five of Swords. They're afraid that there's going to be some type of fight between y'all if they reach out. A conflict might pop off. The Hierophant again in reverse. Something about them wanting to make sure that you're single, that you're not involved. So I don't know. Maybe some of you are involved. Maybe you posted. I don't know. Maybe somebody told them. Maybe you're very private about your love life and they're just assuming that you have someone. That's my dryer. <laughs> What's the page of cups in reverse? Yeah, there is the seven of pentacles in reverse keeps coming out. There's something about them feeling like the moon in reverse. There's a lot they want to tell you, but something in them makes them feel like something about, I don't know. This person just really feels like they put a lot of energy into you and they don't want that energy to go to waste. There's something about that. Like they, they don't want that. Some of y'all, there's something about an abortion here or a miscarriage. That's not for all of you. Let's clarify the one day card. I love Aretha Franklin. The emperor. Oh, Aries energy. The ace of cups, queen of cups in reverse. Yeah, they're pretty serious about you. Some of you, they feel like you, even if you do have somebody else, they feel like one day you guys will find your way back to each other. What's the return card? The Queen of Cups again in reverse. This person has been wanting to return, but they feel like you don't love them anymore. The fool in reverse, you see? And they 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 feel like they don't want to look stupid. Because there's something about this person not wanting to face rejection from you. The high priest is in reverse. You see, they feel like their mind is playing tricks on them a little bit. Because they feel like you've emotionally detached. But it's something about them not wanting to look stupid and foolish. What's the confusion card? The fool in reverse. The Page of Swords in reverse. They've been watching you. I knew that. I felt that even though that card has not come out till now. The Ten of Wands in reverse. The Six of Cups up right now. They're confused because... I don't know. Some of y'all, there's something that they're seeing on your social media that's confusing to them. I don't know. That's why I'm saying. Some of you, there's something about them thinking you're involved. Some of you are. Maybe you posted, oh, this is from my bae or something like that. Something, something has them confused. I think some of you, they're like, 
They feel like you got over them so easily with the Ten of Wands in reverse. And that bothers them a little bit. They're confused by that because they're like, I'm still stuck on you. <laughs> Six of Cups. I'm still thinking about you. And there's something that they're seeing on your page, on your social media that makes them think that you've, you're over them. And they're, that confuses them because they feel like they're still stuck on you. Is there anything else you need to know about this person? Show me the chasing card. Pursuit, toxicity, resilience. The Six of Cups again. The Hierophant, upright. The Seven of Swords in reverse. You see what I'm saying? This is somebody, Taurus energy. This is somebody, they're going to be chasing after you. Chasing, they're gonna, they want to like commit to you. Like Hierophant is serious commitment. Marriage. Seven of Swords in reverse is like not wanting to play no more games, feeling bad for anything that's happened in the past, even apologizing possibly. Anything else you need? The fool in reverse again. Do <laughs> you see how that popped out? There's something about this person being afraid to look stupid. They could have a lot of pride. Ace of Swords here. They could have a lot of pride, but there's something about them like, and the fool in reverse is also like fear. Afraid to take a leap of faith, afraid to come forward, afraid to step into the unknown. Queen of Wands in reverse. They could think that you're still mad at them about some shit that went down from the past. Some of you, they might be afraid that you'll like curse them out or go off on them if they reach out. So they must have showed their ass. But the Ten of Pentacles is like, I don't know, whoever this is, they thought you and them were going to go, we're going to have it all. The hangman in reverse, Pisces energy, king of cups in reverse, six of swords in reverse, five of wands, temperance in reverse, chariot in reverse again. Yeah, this. So to sum this up, <laughs> this is somebody that is planning on returning to you, but they're confused as to whether or not they should. A part of them wants to chase this, but another part of them feels like you might act funky if they try to come back. And there's something about them not wanting to look stupid by you rejecting them or something, looking foolish. They don't want that. And they also, for some of you, they're not sure if you're involved with somebody. And that can also be another that can also be another thing because that will make them look stupid too. <laughs> you know what I mean? That, that will make them look foolish too because if you're involved with somebody and they hit you up, the person could be like, um, why are you hitting up my girl? Why are you hitting up my man? Or you could be like, ha, I'm in a relationship. You know what I mean? This person, it seemed like they got pride, like a lot of pride. Not like, I don't know. But for some of you, there's something on your social media, maybe something they heard. If you don't have social media, that makes them confused as to whether, because you see the confusion card, it says uncertain, unclear, unsure. So it's something that has them feeling like, hmm, I'm unsure. I want to return. I want to chase after this. I want to, you know, I'm resilient towards this, but. Is this person over me? Will this person even take me back? Are they involved? Will they curse me out? So let's go into the extended now. So in the extended, we're going to pull Oracle cards. We're going to pull tarot. We're going to see what's happening between you and this person in the future. Um, if you guys want to join me, the link is below. Thank you to everyone for tuning in. Please do not forget to hit the like button. Okay. Subscribe, comment, share, tell a friend about Miss Hawaii to row, please. And um, yeah, if you guys want to book a personal one-on-one -on -one reading with me, you can email MissHawaiiReadings at gmail.com. Instagram and TikTok is Miss Hawaii Tarot. And what else did I want to say? Oh yeah, shout out to the members, Patreoners. I love you. I'm going to be doing a members read tonight. I'm doing it tonight because I've been promising you guys. I know I've been busy. I have a lot to do because I have to go do Sagittarius's reading after this. Then I'm going to do members readings and then I'm going to do a personal reading that I have to do tonight. So 
I'm probably going to be up all night, but it's okay. You guys are worth it. I love you. So, uh, yeah, if you want to become a member or you want to join my Patreon, that information is below in the description box. I love all you guys. Thank you for all your support, all your donations, your love and support. You guys have been amazing. And I'm here if you guys need me. I'm praying for you guys always. You guys have a blessed rest of your day um, or evening, rather. And make sure you guys stay prayed up, stay positive, okay? Don't let anybody kill your vibes because you got some miserable people out here who will try to kill your vibe because they're miserable and they're sad, but you stay uplifted, okay? I don't know who that message is for. It could be people that you work with. It could be family members. It could be coworkers. It could be um, neighbors. It could be people online. It could be whoever, ex-lovers. Just don't let nobody uh, kill your energy, okay? All right, y'all. I'll see y'all in the extended. If not, I'll catch you on the next one. Bye.